Erica, a study just released from the Journal of the American Medical Association says when it comes to IVF cycles to have a baby, if some is good, more is better. Contrary to popular belief, this report found you shouldn't just stop at three or four cycles if you don't get pregnant. We share the details of the study and some definitions from experts at the Bethesda Fertility Center today. Researchers in this study found that rather than just three or four attempts, women should not give up on in vitro fertilization or IVF. It can be time consuming, but worth it to keep trying. By definition, specialists at the Bethesda Fertility Center at Bethesda North Hospital say when it comes to the IVF procedure, we take the women and we stimulate their ovaries with medications, with uh, natural hormones to make their ovaries produce multiple eggs. We retrieve the eggs under ultrasound guidance with some anesthesia. Uh, we take the partner's sperm and, and fertilize those eggs either with just direct insemination or intracytoplasmic sperm injection. And then we take the fertilized eggs and we culture them in the dish for five days, typically to retrieve a blastocyst, which is a very highly developed embryo, and we transfer typically two back to uh, attempt to initiate pregnancy. Dr. Glenn Hoffman says while success can vary with a woman's age, it's age and maternal age dependent uh, mostly. The younger the woman is, the better they do. The older the woman is, the more difficult it gets. This study found more tries also combats that. A review of 160,000 women found about a third under age 40 who use their own eggs get pregnant on the first cycle. Those odds go up about 20% on the fourth cycle. By the sixth, the live birth rate almost 70%. Women ages 40 to 42 have increased success up to the ninth cycle. Now, obviously, the obstacle is often cost, and the study was done overseas where that's paid for. They do have sort of sharing programs here, so rather than $10,000 a cycle, you might pay 15 for three tries. If you don't get pregnant in the first one, you don't get a refund, but that can help you out. Some medical insurance plans do pay for IVF, but not all of them. People in this study overall did have success right up until the ninth cycle. Wow.